We've got trucks. We've got all types of equipment. Uh, we'll work with volunteers. We'll have church teams coming from all across the United States, Canada, to come and help the people that have been uh, affected. Uh, what Samaritan's Purse does, we'll bring the trucks in with the tools and the equipment uh, where we can cut trees, uh, um, remove rubble. Uh, we've got pumps uh, for water, these types of things on the trucks. But the volunteers come in and do the work, and what we do is we manage them and coordinate it with the churches so that we can go directly to the areas in a community that needs the help the most. And so, Lord, you know uh, this deployment, you know what's fixing to happen here, uh, the different ways we're going to be going, and we ask so much for your Holy Spirit to lead and guide. This storm has caused widespread damage from up Rhode Island, New Jersey, New York, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania area, down to Maryland, Delaware, different places. And you can't just concentrate on one certain area. We've got to assess the whole areas and see where the greatest areas of need are. Where can we be uh, an asset to the local resources? Um, we've got that great contact. So our team pulled together. We prayed up and we sent five program managers out. And they are going to be the first ones that will hit the ground for Samaritan's Purse. Their job is to go and identify the areas of need. And five disaster relief units are available. They're stocked, ready to go. We send three units initially to get there and get established. All right, let's have a word of prayer, guys. Uh, Father, we just pray for those that are in this path of the storm. We need people to pray. We need financial help. We need your support. Uh, but we're on the road uh, as, as you're watching.